Misfit here with the Crows Airsoft Group, and I got another video for you today. Today we're going to be talking about removing your flash hider, or I guess, yeah, just removing your flash hider. Now, before we get into the video, understand that removing your flash hider can be potentially dangerous. That is the biggest thing that differentiates uh, visually uh, an airsoft gun, an airsoft replica to a real steel firearm, uh, as you may have seen. Uh, my video on the H and K USP and how accurate it is and that the only real difference when you're looking at it could just be the plastic tip. So, uh, also another thing that removing the plastic tip could void your warranty. So be cautious of that, you know, look things up and I'm going to try to show off an alternative if you want to add a suppressor or a tracer unit and you do not want to remove your uh, flash hider at all. So let's get right into it. now. Uh, for my first replica, this is my um, uh, Airsoft GI Custom. I've had this thing for, whew, I don't know, very long time, and I've never removed the tip. Uh, not for lack of trying, I have. Uh, it looks like there's some threading here, right? But I don't think it is. Um, there's looks like there's some, looks like there's some glue here, but I don't know. I've tried to twist this thing, but uh, for fear of breaking it, um, I've just personally come to the conclusion that it is a part of the outer barrel and that's just the way it is. Um, but like I said, there is an alternative. I can still add a suppressor um, tracer unit to this without removing this. So next up, we got these two. And the reason you'll see in a minute why I chose these two. Uh, this is the Lancer Tactical Archon. And the uh, H&K, I think it's Elite Force uh, 416 competition. Both of these have pins for their flash hiders. Now, if you look here very closely, there is a solid pin there. And in order to remove it, this had the same thing, right? This had a pin. So in order to remove it, I had to kind of dig into the uh, flash hider itself and use needle nose pliers to take out the pin in order for this to unthread. It does unthread. Usually if there's a pin, it probably means it unthreads. Um, so if there, you have a threading uh, suppressor, flash hide or whatever, uh, you can attach it that way. But like I said, it kind of leaves your uh, flash hider damaged if you slip up or mess up just like I did. Um, but that's fine, right? I'm probably gonna buy a metal one for it anyway, just to kind of keep it clean. Um, so there's plenty of videos on how to remove that there. Uh, I just recommend removing it uh, down and dirty, uh, just kind of getting it out. As, as, as long as you damage just the flash hider and not your outer barrel itself, then it's not that much of an issue. Uh, I haven't done that one to this yet. Um, but I probably will eventually, but like I said, there's an alternative. So if you do not want to damage your flash hider, right, it's the ugly plastic classic one, but there is a way to cover it while you're playing with it. So that is that. And finally, I have my KWA AVA 4. Now this one was slightly different and a little bit more user friendly or, uh, yeah, I guess user friendly. So this one, as opposed to having a solid pin, had a removable pin, right? The removable pin can be found underneath right here. You're going to use your Allen key, very, very small, and you're going to insert and remove it, right? Righty tighty, lefty loosey, just like normal for the pin itself. Now don't lose it. I actually have it in here, the little bag that it came, uh, that the Ava came with. Uh, just so I don't lose it just in case, right? Because this is actually a nice flash hider. So that's in there. I kept that in there. And then to remove it, you simply screw counterclockwise to remove it. And that goes for these two as well. Um, most flash hiders are going to be counterclockwise. Now, that is how you remove these flash hiders from these weapons. Now for the alternative, right? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as I've seen, I've only seen one. Uh, I'm sure there's more, but this is the one I went with. It is the uh, Ace Tech Knights Armament 
um, what is this? Uh, yeah, the Ace Tech Knights Armament um, Tracer Unit. Now, this is more akin to a real steel um, suppressor, right? And the way it works is that it has this latch here that locks onto the flash hider. And as far as I've seen, it's locked onto just about any flash hider that I've tried. So you're going to move this to the side, pull this outward, and you simply find the groove, twist and turn until and push this in up until it sticks. Now it's still gonna rotate, but it's on there pretty solid, right? It's not gonna shake. And there you go, right? You got your suppressor, you got a tracer unit. Um, without having to remove your flash hider at all. So, same thing goes for this Archon, right? I'm gonna pull this sideways, pull this section out, and I'm just gonna simply find the groove, and boom, there you go. Now, you still have a little bit of orange here, um, so you could just paint this section of it black, and leave the rest orange so that way when you take it off the rest of it's still orange and it is still legal and you're still within your rights um, and it even goes on the brand new H uh, KWA uh, full metal this these new flash hiders that they're coming out with it I think they're very nice but right boom it's locked on there nice and tight once again, kind of shows a little bit of the orange, but in this case, I think it looks fine. Um, and you got a full functioning suppressor uh, tracer unit without having to remove any kind of flash hider whatsoever. So those are my tips and tricks for that. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe if you found this video useful. Uh, you know, just let me know if you have any questions on any particular model. Um, just like I said, keep an eye out, look under the flash hider itself. If you see the section has like an indentation for an Allen key, go ahead and insert twist and it move. In the case of a pin, you're going to have to get a little bit more creative. There's plenty of videos online that show, um, how to get those removed more cleanly. Like I said, I just wanted to get it off. So that's that once again. Thank you for watching. See you guys around.